Hello and welcome back to our Pokemon Kaizo Emerald playthrough. This is part 16. In this episode, we are here ready to go ahead and continue making our way towards Flannery, our fourth gym. We have Full Alaba Town along the way, and we also have ourselves one little resting spot just up ahead. But I have gone and healed up the team after last episode. I have Combuskin in the front, as at the moment, my main goal is to get this Combuskin to a point where it is a Blaziken and see if it still has Blaze or if it's going to get Speed Boost back. Because as a Torchic, let's not forget, it had Speed Boost and it was very, very good. However, at the moment it doesn't and it kind of sucks. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to continue going through these trainers and that is why we're going to start off with Question of the Day. It's not often I start off completely with it, but this time it's kind of important because it kind of ties into the series as a whole. So Question of the Day is... Should we keep going with showing every single trainer battle? Or do we want to skip the trainer battles in this series and cut to the more important fights like your Team Aqua leaders and admins and stuff, your gym leaders um, and stuff like that, and maybe the really intense fights that I think are kind of interesting, and skip the ones that, for example, start with leading stun sport. Because at the end of the day, I don't think it's enjoyable for me personally, and for you I imagine, for me to sit here and get paralyzed over and over and over again. We'll see how it goes, all right? It's a simple yes or no question at the end of the day. Saying no is just as important as saying yes. If you want to see every single battle, whether it's because you want to play through the game yourself and you want to see what the Pokemon that are going to be coming up ahead are, in which case, it's cheating, how dare you? <laughs> I'm kidding, but... If you want to see the Pokemon, sure, go for it. It's just as important as saying um, yes to skipping. Both are important. I'm going to go with majority vote, uh, as to be honest, I am not that bothered. I do find it a little bit tedious sometimes when I go up against a Pokemon that has both Stun Sport and Protect and Confuse Ring. I said both, and those are three things. There's not a time to use both, but my point still stands. Fights can be a little bit annoying in this game. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, Makago, why are you bringing in a Makago against my Lantern? Why? A Bubble Beam. Bye. If it survives this, I will actually be incredibly impressed. But it doesn't, because it's a Makago, and I feel so bad for Makago. It's such a cool Pokemon in a way, and it just, it's so bad. It's so overwhelmingly bad. Um, Arbok, that however can get bopped by Alexa. I want to use Combuskin as much as possible, but none of these Pokemon are great for Combuskin and it immediately got paralyzed, which isn't the dream, funnily enough. Who would have thought that that's not the best case scenario? That Arbok sprite looks longer than I have ever seen in my life. Why does that Arbok sprite look so incredibly long? It's actually full noodle. That's different, right? I'm not crazy, okay? I need someone to confirm or deny if I'm actually crazy. I swear these sprites are different. It could just be me. We just got a cherry berry prop. Prop, proc. And, uh, you know, that was actually kind of helpful. It was clearly there for the last gym, but obviously we didn't use it. <gasps> it's the boy. It's the boy. It's the Dunsparce. Yesterday, we saw something very, very very fun to do with Dunsparce in Pokemon Adventures Red, and that was a Dunsparce evolution or alternate form, and it looked just like a cake, and now every time I see a Dunsparce, I'm gonna think of a Dunsparce cake, and I'm gonna get hungry. I am now immediately hungry. I want to eat the Dunsparce. Is that wrong? I, I can't tell if that's wrong or not. What do you have, Dunsparce? Is it a god item? No, it's leftovers. Okay. Can I break through confusion? No, I cannot. This is what I want about. A lot of Pokemon? Power flinching? Dunsparce. Dunsparce, buddy, come on. I I like Dunsparce. Don't do this to me. Don't. Can we, can we not? Thankfully, we have Mark Punch, so we're not actually going to get power flinched. We will get crit, though. I feel like um, we've got some bad luck happening right here. We did get a crit to like, lead off this match, though, so it's not terrible. We finally get through confusion. Well, not confusion, paralysis. Same thing, you know, they both stop me attacking. Are they that different? <laughs> They're pretty different. Anyway, Team Magma Grunt goes down. I am gonna see if we can run all the way to the beautiful, beautiful lady that will heal me. Can I get... Don't... Don't battle me. Okay. Can I... Can I get to the... 
There's a trainer battle in the way. Do I have cut? I don't have cut on anything. Do I want cut on anything to get to this healing house? I suppose I have healing items. We can use our healing items, I guess. They're there for a reason. We can't use them any other time. I need to stop being so stingy with my stuff. I, uh... I like holding on to my items for, like, close moments. Obviously, that's not really a thing. <laughs> We've already seen that we can't use items, and my brain just doesn't want to accept it. But we'll keep Combuskin and Patches in the front, as those two should be a fine lead, I guess. I want Combuskin to gain XP. How tough are you? We shall expose that secret. Is he gonna expose me? Please don't expose me. Please don't. He has a magnifying glass. He's actually ready to expose me. That's the clear sign of someone that will expose you. Fortress and Omanite. This works out pretty well, actually. I'm a little bit afraid of, like, a Hydro Cannon Omanite, because let's be honest, why wouldn't they have that? But I think Wild Charge and Flame Wheel, they might double one shot. Fortress goes for Protect. That's annoying. That's definitely annoying. Is Wild Charge going to be enough to one shot the Omanite? It is. That's good. That's very good. I like that. Uh, we can do the little tactic where we double up onto one side. But also, we can probably just one-shot the fortress anyway, so we might as well keep that in. The Leap. The Leap. Do we want to take out the La Leap? I want to go for the fortress. And honestly, I can Aurora Beam the La Leap. It won't do a huge amount of damage, and Giga Drain could be a thing, but I'm going to go for it anyway. Fortress goes for the double protect and fails. I'm glad it failed. How dare he try and double protect? It's kind of smart because we have a fire type, but also, how dare he try and double protect? Don't you dare. This flame wheel needs to connect. There we go. Gone. Absolutely gone. Ah, uh, four times weaknesses. Hitting something with a four times super effective move just feels so satisfying. I want to wild charge that. I want to wild charge that. Really, really badly. And I want to double kick the Laleep as well. That would be a nice lead. Lead seed. Not Giga Drain onto patches like I thought, but definitely still annoying. Are you going to be like a full stall set of like ingrain leech seed protect and toxic with leftovers? I could believe it. I could believe it. That would be annoying as hell, but you know, it's it's believable. We will wild charge and we will double kick. Bounce. Goodbye Combuskin, I imagine. I feel like Combuskin is going to be sent to an entirely different realm. That double kick did so little damage compared to what I thought. That was not the dream. And double leap seed has been set up. That thing is going to be recovering so much HP. It's going to get back so much HP. That's actually gross. Pokemon like this. Pokemon like this are the ones that I want to skip past <laughs> for question of the day. You know, I, I want to get away from the leap that's going to spam leap seed. Um, I guess I'm letting- I, I don't want to let Combustion go down. I'm going to swap out into... Well, I definitely can't swap Breloom into a Bounce. I- I guess Electabuzz, just in case, um, Patches gets bopped by, like, a Giga Drain or something, then we still have an Electric type in to deal with Gyarados. We'll go with that, and it's resistant to Bounce. That's, like, a best-case scenario. We'll bring in Electabuzz, Take the bounce. The leap is going to protect, which is good because they didn't target it this turn. It has leech seed protect. Have we seen anything else? I don't think so. Static paralyzes the Gyarados. Not that it's going to max. I think it's going to get one shot, but we'll see. Oh, Lumberry. Lumberry Gyarados. Okay, okay. I think we are at a point where every single Pokemon does hold an item now, which could be kind of annoying, especially as. I mean, I guess I'm happy this little leap doesn't have either light, but leftovers is still pretty annoying. Like Buzz hits level 34. Can we get like a fighting type move in this puff situation to deal with this leap? No? Okay. Oh no, you did not just bring out that. I don't want to see that. No one wants to see Porygon 2. No one ever wants to see Porygon 2 when there's a leech seeding the leap on the other side of the field. That's not the dream situation. That's really, really annoying. I'm going to Thunder Punch, and I am going to... Honestly, Wild Charge. Just give me as much damage onto that thing as possible. It has Volt Absorb, because it copied my ability, 
and I went for two electric type attacks. Oof. Oof is the only word I have for that one. Uh, I don't think anything is going to be hitting Combuskin. It's not. It's going to be a Leech Seed. That's annoying, but. Electabuzz can't do too much. It could Thunder Wave the Laleep, I suppose? The Laleep is definitely annoying, but at least I know it's not going to, like, one-shot any of my Pokémon, so I guess that's good. I guess I'm going to Swift and Double Kick. Because the Porygon scares me way more than the Laleep does. That Swift did nothing. It wasn't even worth going for. I should have just went for Thunder Wave onto the Laleep. That's my bad. This Tri-Attack does way more damage than I think it should. Double Kick is decent, but, you know, it's going to outspeed Combuskin anyway. But that's not the dream, and we're going to get hit by Leech Seed again. Leech Seed is annoying. Never forget, Leech Seed is really annoying. How long is this battle going to go on for? This is the prime example of why I want to skip past some of these trainer battles, but I'm going to keep this in. I'm going to keep this in as a deciding moment, you know? We will find a wave, and I... I guess we'll try and double kick it, just in case it tries to take out the Electabuzz, which it might. Electabuzz might be seen as a higher threat. Shadow Ball onto Combustion. Yeah, I mean, I don't know why they wouldn't go for the Fighting type when they have two Pokemon weak to fighting, but anyway, we'll bring out Breloom. Breloom should be able to mark punch these two both down and finish them, I imagine. Why are you going for Sludge Bomb? Don't do that. Don't Sludge Bomb. Bad. Why do you have that? You're meant to have, like, straight up just healing moves. Where's your ingrain? Okay? Just be a healer. That's fine. Just don't attack. <laughs> that would be great. Let's... This Pokemon does nothing, but I'm going to quick attack and Mark Punch just for a tiny bit of extra damage onto the Porygon. It's a bit of extra damage. It might have put it into range. It KOs either way. I'm going to consider that a win. That means we only have to deal with the left-hand side from here. Yes, we might get hit by a Sludge Bomb. Yes, that might be annoying, but it gets fully paralyzed. That's what I needed to see. I am actually going to swap Electabuzz out so it stops getting the Leech Seed recovery. And I am going to go into... I suppose... I suppose it would be better to go into Alexa, because I'm not sure if it has a Grass-type move, I guess. And we will continue to Mark Punch. We could go for Sludge Bomb, and try and get a little bit of damage. I don't know if Sludge Bomb would be high. I think Mark Punch is always higher. It's super effective. What am I on about? Sludge Bomb onto Alexa. That's fine. That's fine. Mark Punch will take it out next turn, and then we'll be able to get Side Beam off onto whatever comes in. Or we can confuse whatever comes in. Let's confuse whatever comes in. That's annoying. Sure. Let's go with that. Watch him bring in something that's like a fighting poison type. Even though Krogunk isn't in this generation, Krogunk's gonna come out. Okay, it is. Right? Boom. The Skull. Ah, okay. I'm kind of happy that it's Confused Raid. Also, it's not the strongest Pokemon. I would prefer to just get damage on it, honestly, but oh well. That's what happens when you don't know what's coming out. We will Psybeam, and we will, I guess, Giga Drain, because I can't Mark Punch it. It's actually faster than my Pokemon, and it hits itself. The Confused Raid was worth it. Unless the Psybeam one-shots, in which case, it wasn't. Nope, it was all worth it. And now we can get to the Healing Lady. Half the episode has been used on this, like, one battle. I don't like that. I don't know if you guys like that. I don't like that. <laughs> that feels a little bit tedious. Leech Seed the Leap. If I ever see another one of those, I'm gonna cry, <laughs> I guess. No, no Pokenav, no, no, no. No, it will never behoove me, although I do love that word. Please no trainers. Please no trainers. Please no surprise trainers. Please heal me. Old lady, I need your herbs and medicines. I need to sleep. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I am healed. I am safe. We are fine. My Pokemon's still tired? Nope, nope, they're good. They're good. I'll be back after the next battle, though. <laughs> and then I'll rest again. Um, we did get the Mark Bike, though. 
I did go and grab that, so let's go and see if there's anything up on that ledge real quick, just in case there's been anything put up here. It's normally like a fighting type granary boy. Doesn't seem any different whatsoever, so I guess we're gonna ignore that and just continue trekking on. You Pokemon look like serious actors, I have to ask you for an engagement. Oh! I thought it was a double battle along the bottom, then that was why the other person turned around. Was that not a trainer? Or did I manage to get past a trainer for like the first time in this entire game? Skarmory and Hitmontop, that's scary. That's Intimidate. Although we should be fine. I think we'll be fine. We can Wild Charge and Flame Wheel into Skarmory. I just hope it doesn't protect. If it protects, I got played. Or I could try and Confuse Ray the Hitmontop immediately. I'm doubling into Skarmory. Hitmontop detects. Okay. Skarmory uses Drill Pack. Bye. Bye bye. Combustion sucks. <laughs> It really does. Oh, I wish it could live moves. I really do. I guess I bring in Alexa to deal with the hit one top, and I'm hoping this wild charge one shots. It's a special move. It is a special move. Doesn't quite KO the Skarmory. That's a shame. That's a sh Citrus. Leftovers. There's a lot of leftovers lately. And I mean a lot of leftovers lately. Uh, I guess we are going to Bubble Beam because that doesn't have recoil. Cybeam goes first. Alexa is way faster than I would ever expect it to be. Half health, not bad, not bad. Sets up spikes. That's annoying for the future. That's very annoying for the future. But the Skyrim will go down. I'm expecting Hip on top to detect. I'm doubling it to whatever's on the right. That's the plan. Mill tank? Actually a tank. Rock tomb. Lowering the speed of Alexa. See, now it's gonna outspeed. What if they. Mm, now I kinda wanna side beam onto hit one top? I don't know. Is it gonna detect? Probably. It probably will. I'm gonna side beam. And. Honestly, I'm gonna wild charge. I'm just gonna go for the full damage. We're going straight for damage. Wild Charge hits. How much that can do? Not as much as I would like. Uh, the hit on top didn't detect either, which is unfortunate. Actually, Rock Slides onto Patches, which isn't the dream situation. But, on the bright side, if I double into that slot again, we know that hit on top is the slowest. One of these Pokemon is going to hit the Mill Tank. Mark Punch. Oh, no. Wait, maybe not. Don't... Don't drink any milk, okay? No milk. No milkies. No milkies, Miltank. No milkies. Don't do it. Brick Break. That's fine. That's not milkies. Okay, alright. <laughs> hey, what I was saying. <laughs> Miltank's gonna go down, though. Uh, this turn, I'm probably gonna side beam and hit him on top regardless, because it hasn't used Detect again. Uh, for whatever reason, I'm not sure why. I kind of expected it to, but sure. What's coming out? Be four times weak to grass. <gasps> it is. Oh, oh, oh. The dream situation just happened. I get to bop this silly looking quagsire. Are you going to protect detect? No. Which means I just KO a hip on top. Not the worst. Not the worst. I am afraid of what could be coming in in case it's something really fast and it could bop my Breloom. Hitmonchan. It could potentially bop my Breloom, and that's a bit scary if it goes to like Fire Punch or Ice Punch, but I'm still gonna try and kick it during the Quagsire. Double Protect. And lowers the speed of my Breloom. Can you not? Can you just let me get my Giga Drain off on this four times super effective move? I, I just want to bop it, okay? We'll side beam. I'm expecting a hit on Lee to be coming out last there. I just want to Giga Drain this stupid looking Quagsire. Please. Shadow Punch? Okay, that's fine. 
does more damage than I'd like, but Psybeam will take out Hitmonchan. Giga Drain should take out Quagsire. Right? Right? I'm not crazy, right? I know it's pretty bulky, but it's a four times super effective Giga Drain. We'll at least get all of our health back, which I suppose will be a positive, and probably put it into Mark Punch range. Even if it doesn't KO. So, I mean, this is still fine. One shot. It does one shot. Four times super effective moves. Very, very nice. And it brings me back to full HP. Delicious, nutritious HP. Uh, I guess I'm just side beaming, fully expecting that to get bopped, and I'm gonna slide bomb for the most damage. Yep. Bye bye, Alexa. It was nice knowing you, but at least we will win this fight. I just don't want to white out. <laughs> I'm at the point where my entire goal is if I don't white out, I win. Technically the truth though, you know, if you don't weigh out, you do in fact win, funnily enough. Sludge Bomb bops everyone Lee. Physical moves from a Breloom hurt. Good to know. Didn't just look strong, they are strong. I would like... Do I have Brick Break as a TM that I could have had on Breloom like this entire time? Am I crazy? What did I get from Brawly? I got Seismic Toss, didn't I? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you don't battle. I walked the plants every day, they grew lots of flowers, and they gave me lots of berries too. Here you go, you can have it. A raspberry, which I am never gonna use. I want, like, citrus berries, cherry berries, honestly, orange berries, I'll take them. You know, pecha berries, all of the above. You know, anything that actually has a use, I'll take. I think I'm gonna need them all. Uh, we know that we can replant them, so if we ever get to citrus berries, I might genuinely farm citrus berries. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that might actually be kind of useful for gym gym. For gym attempts and stuff. stuff. Ugh, speaking is hard. Uh, we'll grab the raspberries. I don't know why I'm grabbing them, but... I... I... I guess apparently I want them. I don't know, somewhere deep inside of me, I desire the raspberries. I, I can't control it. I just need them. What will I do without them? Back to the old lady again, though. Who we might be seeing for a little bit. I don't want to rest again, though. Let's go have a little run into the ashes, I guess, and see if there's anything over there. My dude, are you okay up there? He's having a moment. I think someone may have given him something. Someone laced his drink with something. I'm a little bit scared for him. Uh, another double battle. What Pokemon can I grab before we get into this double battle? It's moments like this that make me wish I had Sweet Scent. I will have to grab that at some point. Uh, Shroomish? I mean, Breloom's pretty good. I don't know if I want two of them. It is pretty good, though. I'll admit, Breloom's done a lot for us so far. And especially against uh, Norman, I feel like Breloom's going to be pretty clutch with the super effective Mark Punch. So it's definitely staying. What else can we find? I wouldn't mind grabbing a Skarmory. Game. Getting encounters is hard. We'll we'll find encounters when we get encounters. You want to battle with me even though I just caught my Pokemon? Just caught. Let's have a look at these just caught Pokemon, shall we? I bet they have items. They have perfect move sets. I can't wait to see these just caught Pokemon. Dragon Tamer? Dra Dragon? I mean, this isn't the worst. I can double kick you and I can Aurora Beam you for four times super effective moves. I can't help it. I know I'm probably going to get bought by like an Earthquake or something from both of them. I'm amazed that Vibrava didn't Earthquake me. I fully expected Earthquake. Aurora Beam will probably one-shot in return though. I don't know if double kick is going to one-shot a Laron because, you know, Laron's defense stat, but it'll do over half. And we should outspeed it. Shell gone. I don't know if that has Earthquake either, but I'm scared. So close, actually. If that if that did just like that was like five base power higher, that has Earthquake. There's the Earthquake I was expecting. Shell gone will probably have Earthquake as well. We survive. Patches should also survive then. Yep, neither of them survive it well. Shell gone also takes a, <laughs> a a tiny little piece of damage. I guess I'm. I guess I'm staying in and seeing what happens. I'm going to do the same thing again. 
I hope we outspeed. These are some thick boys. I would be very surprised if we didn't outspeed. We do outspeed. Okay, that's something. Is Shelgon gonna use Earthquake? If it does, oh no. I hope it goes for Leer. Can you imagine how great that would be? Go for Leer. Go on. You know you want to use Leer. Grovile? Double-edged. Who's gone? Of course Combustion's gone. Of course. The Pokemon that I want the XP on, of course it's gone. Of course. How else could that have gone? But we can bring in this. We can Sludge Bomb the Grovile, which should honestly one-shot it. Um, we're probably going to see patches go down here. Or we could swap patches out. We could make a play. I'm going to stay in because I don't know if Breloom can outspeed Grovile. I'm assuming it can't, but just on the off chance. Okay. 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 I know Combuskin feels like it's been nerfed into the ground. Um, I can't tell if that's actually true or not. But it feels like it. So, I wasn't sure if Grovile was going to have like a speed drop. I don't know if the stars have been lowered in how effective they are. I don't know if their stats have been dropped, I don't know if their movesets have been changed, but Combuskin at the very least feels a lot weaker than I would imagine. It could just be a complete placebo effect, because obviously we're fighting strong Pokémon, whereas normally when you go through Pokémon Emerald, you won't be fighting these Pokémon. So Combuskin, compared to a Shelgon, for example, is just going to be weaker. It could just be something simple like that, and it probably is, but it feels so weak. Um, I'm going to Psybeam the Shelgon, and I really hope that's going to be enough. Like, it doesn't actually scare me. I don't know if I should have attacked it, but... Is Psybeam enough? It is enough. Haha, -ha, Shelgon, you have no special defense. I should have focused one side a little bit more, which I didn't, but... Oh! Oh! Okay, you can fire ice along your tongue. Like a ramp, like shooting an ice projectile along its tongue, like a Hot Wheels car. That's... That's honestly kind of amazing. <laughs> I have a newfound love for Lickitung, okay. <laughs> I, I want to see all of its projectile moves being shot out of its mouth like it's a Hot Wheels ramp. Oh, I really hope there's fan art of that somewhere. I need to go and check if there's fan art of that somewhere. Just a Lickitung's tongue being like a Hot Wheels loop-de-loop. -loop. If it's not... I might have to give it an attempt. I'll try and draw it. I can't draw it all, but I'll I'll attempt it. Don't think I won't. Don't hold me to that. <laughs> um, Psybeam is going to KO the dragon now. We make it through this fight, and see, now it's already been like half an hour, and we've had like three fights, four fights. It... Ooh. Ooh, it doesn't feel like I have made a lot of progress. It's a slow always churning battle against constant double battles in this game. So once again, I will reiterate the question of the day. Should we skip trainers or should we continue fighting them as we have been, keeping them all included as we go? I am not entirely fussed. I don't like fights like the Leap, but the other ones aren't too bad. That Leap, though, I didn't mean to rest twice. That Leap and that one tr double battle with all of the protects, though, that's the kind of thing that I really want to skip. We'll see. We'll see what you guys say. For now, though, if you guys have enjoyed Spoken Kaizo Emerald playthrough episode, I don't know why I felt the need to go for that entire thing, but I did, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and I've got further already. Bye!